To paint a grassy hill, mix up a green, paint the horizon line towards the top of the page, and fill in the area below. Then mix up a lighter grass color, or darker, and use your brush to make soft upwards brush strokes to make little hairy blades of grass. Cover your entire page in this grass blade texture. For a snowy scene, mix up a very light gray and create a horizon line towards the top of the page. Fill in below. Then take pure white and draw a line at the top of each little snow dune and fade the white into the gray below. Create little snow dunes across the entire page, working from the top down. To make sand dunes, mix up a sand color and paint the horizon line again towards the top of the page and fill in below. Then mix up a lighter sand color and paint that across the top of each dune and fade it in to the base layer. To make little sand grains, you can mix up a darker color, a dark brown, and use a flat brush to make very light stamps, very light, into the sand Just a little, little bit rocks and very and light. Grains. And there you have. To make an ocean, mix up a light blue green, use water, and paint a perfectly straight horizon line towards the top of the page. Make sure that your horizon line is very straight and very neat and then fill in below using the paint and the water. Then mix up a lighter color for the ripples and waves and make soft back and forth brush strokes starting from the horizon line and working your way down. As you work down, the ripple textures can get a little farther apart and a little bigger. To make a mountain, start by mixing up a dark color or a brownish color and paint a jagged horizon line and fill in below. Then get a lighter color, gray, light brown, or white, and twist the brush between your fingers and bounce the brush around the page, making rocky zigzag shapes. Fill in the entire mountain range with a lighter color and a darker color. For a leafy mountain, Mix up several different kinds of green or fall colors and use a round brush to stamp those colors across the page, creating a fluffy, leafy look. As you dab your brush, dab it very lightly so you don't end up with one big blob.